One Piece does it again, proving many of us that it is still the king of shonen. Because in chapter 1026, the turning point is a masterpiece, showing the legendary transformation of Momosuke, turning him from a crybaby to a man fighting the Kaido. But that's not it, because in this chapter we also saw the legendary clash of Luffy and Kaido splitting the clouds into two. And we all know how big of a moment this is, as now not only Luffy will be fighting these emperors, but he will also be compared to the likes of these emperors in terms of their physical strength. Okay, so that's enough of me hyping things up so let's talk about it. So I think that Momosuke was the highlight of this chapter. Even though there was the legendary clash of Luffy and Kaido splitting the clouds but still Momosuke's side of the chapter proves that Oda is a genius in writing masterpiece characters. All started with Luffy getting ready to fight Kaido. He orders Momo to bite Kaido and I knew in that moment that Momo won't be able to do it and even if he did it he will cry while biting Kaido and man I underestimated Oda cause not only Momo bites Kaido and did not even cry, he earned my respect while doing so and so he proved that he is not a spoiled brat he used to be but now he is actually the son of Odin. And the crazy thing is that if you have asked me in the last chapter what I think about Momo, my obvious answer would have been that this character has really a lot of potential to be a great character but I was not sure because I really did not like the introduction of Momosuke in the series but to make me respect Momo in the next chapter by biting Kaido even though this is the same character who was afraid from height in the last chapter make me think that this was intentionally done by Oda to make us believe that Momosuke is still not ready. But the best part is that all Luffy did was give him an order and Momosuke start filling himself with all the hatred towards Kaido and bites him and it is such a satisfying moment and a spectacular thing which I never expected from Momo at least this soon. And this also shows how good of a captain Luffy is as without saying much he made Momosuke do such a big job. And in the later portion of the chapter after he also asked Momo, you just bit one of the four emperor after doing that does anything in the world still scare you and this really hits so different and so good as Momosuke replied no and just like that you all should also not be afraid to like and subscribe to this channel as all your efforts will be legendary. Okay, so now that I have mentioned Luffy, let's just talk about the legend. And I think that Luffy is now totally classified to be titled as one of the strongest if not the strongest character in One Piece because with the heaven splitting move he proved that now he is compared to the upper bracket because with the heaven splitting clash with Kaido in this chapter he has proved that now he is worthy to be called the fifth emperor of the sea. And before I forget this panel has already become an iconic panel cause with TCB scans One Piece was trending on Twitter so just wait for the real thing to come out. So coming back to the topic of the strongest things when Kaido was introduced he was referred as the strongest creature even though he lost multiple times. So once Luffy defeats Kaido which he definitely will defeat he will become the strongest. And many people are not really talking about this but Momosuke did literally no damage to Kaido but in fact the only reason that Momosuke was even doing something was to make him fearless person and to make him a man to be worthy to call the son of Odin. So before we talk about Nekoma and Inurashi, the chapter weirdly starts with Tengen-sama worrying about Otama as we also saw a flashback of her leaving for a fight in Urikaishima. But in this chapter we only saw her once, so does that mean that we will see another fight of Nami, Usopp and Otama in action because I am really hyped for this because I think that Otama was such a wonderful character to be introduced in one OR. Okay so let's talk about the rest of the chapter, Nekoma and Inurashi lost their Sulong form as the moon was covered by clouds but as Kaido and Luffy clashed the clouds were rifted apart also known as the heaven being splitted into two making moon appear once again and both of them regains their form and caught Jack and Pet Sparrow in off guard and defeated them and this makes things even more interesting as all the member of the six have already been defeated and Jack who was the part of the top three in Kaido's army is also defeated only king and queen are left which means that we can see Zoro and Sanji's action pretty soon. But there is also one other surprise that Uruchi is still alive and I was just thinking about this the other day. I was thinking what will happen if Uruchi is really alive and I think that there is something drastic will be happening when Straw Hat will be very near to claim their victory but I guess we will talk about that in another video. 
For now, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to read the official translation when they come in Wiz app or Shonen Plus app. And see you all soon.